packed out, so bear with me, huh? So uh, my thought of the day has to do with uh, love and uh, love and acceptance, or uh, loving your acceptance. Um, I was recently having a conversation with my newfound love, my girlfriend, and uh, she's like, she, uh, I'm learning again that uh, women are always right. She, uh, she said, uh, she said, no, no, honey, we're rising in love, right? So this is, has to do with rising in love with your acceptance. Um, for me, uh, I've traveled, I've had some degrees, I've had some successes in my life, you feel me? And um, things, you know, sometimes we get caught up in uh, thinking we are owed things or thinking that we need things or um, getting caught up in things that really don't matter, you know? Um, this is the first time in my life, like I've never had a, you know, I've always had a car, this is Los Angeles, you know? And I'm on the train, you know? And so every day I have to accept that I'm on the train. But I also live in Boyle Heights, and it's not too bad, you know? Um, and there's just little things like that that I, that I have to accept. You know, sometimes I get caught up in, in wanting things and needing things that don't really matter, you know? And I have to sit back and accept where I'm at. And my therapist, Teresa, was talking to me yesterday um, about what if, what if it was okay to be where we're at? You know, just what if, what if you were cool with where you're at? You know, and accepting where you're at. What if that could happen? Um, and I started to think about that. And I started to think, yeah, what if I am okay? You know, last night I want to tell a couple little stories about being okay with where I'm at. Last night I had a dream that I was that I was high. And for people that are in recovery, if you don't know, I'm in recovery first and foremost. Um, if you don't, for people that know that they have, we have these dreams. And I was with homeboy, and we were at like some trip and we smoked or something. And we were all tripping up because Faber was gonna P-test us like that week or something, you know? And uh, I woke up, I woke up. I woke up and, and I was clean, you know? I was sober and I had my own place, you know? And I'm part of Homeboy Industries. And I got to have that, and you can't put a price tag on that. Anybody that's in recovery can tell you right now that you can't put a price tag on recovery. And I got to feel and accept where I'm at, that I'm, that I'm clean, that I'm sober, that I'm not coming here high, that I'm not hiding. You know, we have a bunch of masks on today, you know, but I don't have a mask on when I come here every day. I'm here, I'm present, you know? Um, one time I was talking with Lewis, and he would, I would share sometimes in, uh, in meetings, and I would talk about, you know, what I did, where I'm from, what happened, and I felt like I needed to prove myself to some of the homies, you know? Some of the older homies, some of the other homies, and, and Lewis was like, why do you even go there? You know what I mean? We love you for exactly who you are, for the photographer that loves photography, that runs around and happy for Sal, not from Mumbles, from wherever or whatever, you know? And I got, and, and right there, Lewis set me free. You know, he set me free from myself to find who I really am, you know? And that's where I get to accept who I really am. You know, and that, these are the kind of gifts I get. You can't put a price tag on somebody you respect setting you free from, and showing you who you really are. You know, I get to come here, I get to, I don't know if you guys know, I, I've talked about this before. I'm a photographer right here at Homeboy, you know, and I take images of all y'all, you know, transforming your lives. And I was here and I was suffering and I was dying inside, even though I had the flat, I had the flat in Pas you know, South Pasadena, the nice cars, the things that you're supposed to, you know, that says that you're successful, you know, and I was dying inside. And I remember taking a picture of Boris, actually, he's right here, you can't really see him right now, though, but... Um, I remember taking a picture of him and knowing that, I, if everybody knows Boris, how he carries himself, how he is, you know, he's a very happy guy and he's been through a lot. And I was inspired by him. I'm like, man, this guy served 25 years in prison. You know, I've never been to prison. And he's happy and I'm suffering, you know? And I'm taking an image of him, putting on Facebook, and showing the world how beautiful, you know, Boris is, right? And so people here, like I always say, people, I came here to help you and you saved my life. I always tell people about that, you know? And I, I, get, I get those kind of gifts, you know? I got the gift to go to rehab, to go to sober living, to get recovery, to get a new family, you know? I got to be, my sponsor had a big loss, the biggest loss that you can have of a child. And I got to sponsor my sponsor. I got to be there present for my sponsor. That's crazy. You know, I was taking images and I didn't know how to conduct myself, but I did it anyway because he wanted to tell his story, because he wanted to inspire any other fathers that you can lose your child and not have to pick up. Because God, I feel like God gave you everything that you need. You know, and you don't need anything to put inside your body. All you need is, you know, a, a connection with your higher power. And I get to accept today that I 
have a connection, you know? I have a connection with my higher power. I was talking to the big homie right now. I can put my iPhone up, sideways up, and I don't have to put a lock on my phone because I know I'm not cheating on, on my significant other. You know, I'm not, I don't have to worry about how I smell when I come to homeboy because I know I'm not using. You know, I don't have to do any of this. Like, I mean, when, where do you get to go to a place where my boss is telling me about these grand schemes of my great marketing things because my boss Luke loves marketing, right? And we're just talking all this stuff and I'm like, hold on. Stop what you're doing, stop all this. I gotta go to yoga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on, you know what I mean? This is a great place, you know? So I get to accept all these beautiful things. So today, truly try to fall in love with exactly where you're at and accept yourself, accept your family, accept your community, accept our world. Thank you.